after a thrilling evening of working cow horse, the old junior working cow horse record has been shattered at the 2017 Lucas Oil AQHA World Championship Show. I'm Larry Joe Starkey with the American Quarter Horse Journal, your first stop for AQHA industry news, and I'm here today with Sarah Dawson, whose ride tonight scored a 455, breaking the old record of 449 and a half. Sarah, what a great horse. Could you tell me about him? Yeah, a shiny outlaw. He's a five-year-old stallion owned by uh, Billy and Michelle uh, Cannon, and he's a very, very neat horse, very simple. Uh, he just kind of goes out and does his job. We've had him uh, for his five-year-old year, Zane Davis, uh, trained him and showed him his three-year-old year, and then I believe he got hurt before we got him, but uh, really, really special horse and really, really cool horse. He's simple to show, and so especially in the finals in a rain work, you just kind of have to kind of kick him and go on with it, and he just does his deal. I mean, he's a huge stopper. He's a huge turner. Um, the, the judges love him. I mean, he's, he's just so cute. Um, and then down the fence, he's very gritty. We, we got a new cow on our first cow, and, and we went ahead and took it, and then they blew us off our second cow again if we wanted to, but I was a little afraid we were going to run out of air for our third cow, so I just decided to go with it, and it worked out, and he was with me every step of the way and, and was good and made two good turns and circled up good, and so he was, he was pretty on point. What makes tonight's win special? You know, I never shown here at the AQHA World Show, so uh, it was it was pretty special and it very humbling for me to be out there with all my heroes. I mean, I was standing out there with Todd Crawford to see who was going to be first or second, and I, I didn't think that was going to happen this early in my career. So that was that was pretty special. <laughs> what were you thinking as you were watching that ride? I was praying hard. I was really praying hard. He and Sarah were running so hard. I just prayed that they would stay upright and. <laughs> get through that work run well his sire shiners nickel was he was really really quite a performer and had a huge heart and um, performed really really well and I knew that I really needed to cross him well on some good cutting mares and that was why we chose a daughter a dual ray um, we thought that the dual ray really added a lot of grit to the shining spark and um, that's how we ended up with shiny outlaw Oh, that is so awesome. So what's next for him? The, a, the NRCHA World Show, I believe, will be his next. Right, right. But uh, he's going to take a little vacation, go home for a while, get to take a trip in the aqua tread, and maybe do some breeding. his owners for giving me the opportunity to show him but uh, my husband Chris Dawson I mean we kind of run a business together and uh, he's he's my biggest support my my best coach and he's couldn't do it without him so thank you so much congratulations world champion thank you